Welcome back guys to Game Dev Tycoon Like a Boss. Last time we were together we made the wholly successful Fallout, which made us a lot of money. As you can see at the moment we're already up to 2.2 million. The reason why I made us so much money is because it was a published game and you make lots of cash from published games. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find a new publishing deal. And because simulations are pretty popular at the moment, I am thinking I am going to do a simulation. So, romance and adventure, that sounds terrible. That really does sound terrible. I'm, I'm trying to think of a romance adventure that I can think of, especially a game. You know, a romance adventure game. Let's do a hospital simulation, shall we? Or should we do one for ourselves? Oh, oh, the questions. Oh, the, oh, it's, oh, the questions. Yes, you know what? Yeah, let's do one on that. Because I, we only need to get six, but I'm kind of hoping that we can do that. It shouldn't be too hard. So we want version 3, it's a medium game as well, so it could bankrupt us, um, and it's a hospital. <laughs> Once again, let's go with Theme Hospital Light. Oh, so bloody original. Theme Hospital Light, because it's on the Game Boy, of course. And we've already done a Theme Hospital, so it, it kind of works, you know. Because otherwise fans would be like, ah, oh, but they've already made one. And then the weird question of, is it a remake, comes into it. No, it's a sequel. It may be a prequel. Nobody knows. It's like all the games that come out these days that are the same name as games that came out 20 years ago. You're like, wait, is this the same game? Is this a sequel? Is this, is this a remake? Reboot? What are we doing here? Give me some kind of indication. So, all right, gameplay, we want to be very high on this one. Stories and quests, we don't need any of that at all. Character progression? Yeah, why not? Simulations don't tend to usually have character progression. Well, some of them do. Actually, no, like, well, I suppose now that I think up, like, all the names in my head, yeah, they kind of do. But anyway, that's beside the point. We want to put this guy on that, Brian Shaw, and we probably want one of these guys, Stories and Quests, just because, you know, we're not really going to be doing much on that, so we might as well save the good guys for later on in the development. Oh, industry news. PC software juggernaut Micros Micronoft has announced today that they're into the game console market with their very own game console called the M-Box. It was the size of a house. It was hilarious. And it does actually have an M on it. I like I like the art in this game. You know, they've actually, you know, gone out of their way to make the M-Box. <laughs> First demonstrations have been impressive. We'll have to wait and see if it fares against the popular dream fast. And we're... And the new console, yeah. So basically they're saying, is it going to do well against the Dreamvast and the PlayStation 2? Or the Play System 2, as they're calling it in this one. And I think it will. You know, this, this is just my opinion, it probably will. News. Today the new game platform PlayStation 2 by Vony has been released. Yay! So now we can start making PS2 games, which we should. PS2 was probably one of the most successful gaming consoles in history. So if we didn't go out and make a load of games for it, we'd be making a terrible, terrible mistake. So level design, better dialogues, no. You know, they also, which is quite useful and quite handy, once you start getting into the realms of um, medium games, large games, they will auto-assign themselves. I'm not sure why it does that or whether it's just automatic or based on game, game to game basis, I don't know. But it's useful, it means you don't have to sit there and drag them all across. Although you may want to change things every now and then, like Clinton Harris, for instance, is doing level design. We don't want him to do level design, we want this guy to do level design. And then Erica Robertson, yeah, she's good on artificial intelligence. That works. It's good for a butcher's dog. Yeah, butcher's dog. Industry news. The launch of the PlayStation 2 has been a phenomenal success. Stores everywhere out of stock. As manufacturing can barely keep up, fans have resorted to buying the console on the internet auction sites as much as five times the normal price. It's true. It's true. This happened. It was hilarious. PlayStation 2 came out and people were buying it for like £500, £600, ridiculous amounts, despite the fact that the console was only retailing for like 180 And I don't, I don't know how much that converts to in the rest of the world, but I'm sure the exact same thing happened everywhere. At least I'm kind of hoping to. If it didn't, it just makes English people look crap. <laughs> you know, we just weren't patient enough to wait for the bloody thing. So it's okay, guys. They'll make more. I'm almost certain of it. It's probably going to happen. Anyway, 
We want world design. Yeah, we want a little bit, just a tiny little bit. You know, just a little bit of oomph, a little bit of ah, uh, or whatever. And Tony Rodriguez. No, let's put him on the design. And Erica Robbins. Yeah, she can stay on that. Now, we do need to start doing some training soon. We have 162 research points. What I'm doing is I'm saving up to 200. I probably should have told you guys this at the beginning. But yeah, I'm kind of trying to save up. And hopefully, we should be able to get there soon. Because we made a lot of games. So we've got a lot of game reports to generate. Plus, they're doing incredibly well with this 185. My god, guys. I could give you a round of applause for that one. Admittedly, it didn't get it all in this one. But still, you know, a job well done is still a job well done. And whoop, that'll do, that'll do, we're done. 74, 76, it's a pretty round game, pretty even. Gameplay's gone up, level up in 2D graphics version 3, awesome. Due to the increase in experience, ah, they're robbing me. Brian Shaw, 44k a month, my god. Jesus, he's, he thinks he's quite big and impressive, doesn't he? Alright, we're going to send you on vacation. Oh, the first reviews of Theme Hospital came in. Now, bear in mind, we needed to beat a 6. If we go below, below a 6, we get a penalty. Oh. <coughs> yes, and we've done it. <coughs> and my voice is going again. But it's an 8. It's an 8. And an 8. A 7. You're a douchebag. And an 8. Awesome. Thank you, all games. 8, 8, 7, 8. Sounds like, like, there's probably a locker combination or something. I'm sure if you go around a train station or something, just going up to all the lockers, 88788 or whatever that was, would probably get you in. To one of them, at least. Have you ever tried a trick? Here's a little trick for you. I'm just going to stop here right now, and I'm just going to explain this trick to you. Actually, no, I'll, I'll do the generate game reports while I'm explaining it to you. If you ever want to get into somewhere that you're not allowed to get into, get yourself a high-vis vest and just walk through the front door. As long as you're not a, you know, as long as you're not like a child. If you're a child, you're not going to get away with that. But as long as you look, you know, 18, look like you could have a job, get some high vis vest and just walk in. Nobody says a bloody thing. It's amazing how many times that's worked. But yeah, there's a little little tip there for you. <laughs> not exactly like you probably need tips, but still. Right. Anyway, we want to find some contract work to get these guys going. Oh no. Okay, it's distinctly possible they might not actually succeed in this. Nope, they're not going to succeed. No, God, no. Clean up database, 55 left. That's going to be one hell of a penalty. So, no new insights on Diablo 2. I was kind of expecting that. Ah, oh, 19k. Ah, oh, you're an asshole. Our post analysis of Fallout is complete. Artificial intelligence seems not to be very important in this type of game. It was true. Artificial intelligence is actually pretty terrible in an RPG. Because most of the events are scripted, aren't they? You know, especially in sort of Final Fantasy style RPGs. The events are scripted. The monsters will attack you with something, depending on something or other. It's all very vague. I don't know. I've, I kind of stopped playing Final Fantasy games. Just because they're not really doing anything new. They're trying to do something new. But they're kind of failing at it. So, right. 2D graphics version 4. Definitely. No, no, no. We don't want that guy to train. We want him to do some research. Oh, multiplayer. Hell yeah. And we've still got a hundred more. Wow, we're going to get loads of stuff. Dialogue tree. Go for it. And you, sir, can do branching story. And then you, my friend. What are you going to do? You're going to do... three. No, we don't want 3D graphics. It's just a waste of money. Casual games. No. Let's go with a... <gasps> life! Oh my god, a life simulation. Loads of money. Sims. Sims Second Life. That was a life simulation. Terrible life simulation. I don't know whether you play Second Life. I've played it. Is it Second Life? I think it might be Second Life. I can't remember. That one online that people are obsessed with. The one that everyone's like, Oh, well, she let her baby die because she was playing Second Life. Which is true. And you there's people married on that game. That have never, like, legally. It's scary. Scary, scary, scary stuff. It's like, wait, you do realise that you can go outside, right? No. Really? Have a look. It's nice out there. The sun's out and there's women. <laughs> Sorry, maybe I'm just being a little bit offensive to people that play Second Life. But, you know, there's some people on it that just take it too seriously. It's like, it's Second Life, dude, not First Life. You don't seem to be getting the core concept here. You seem to 
seem to be a little bit confused about what's going on. Oh, 2.8 million sales. That's why you use a publisher. And see, now we're up to 69.6K fans. We're getting close, very close to being able to self-publish our games. Very, very close. Right, so we're going to do a new publishing deal for the time being. I do want to, I want to come back and get by all of those things. So when I do my next version 4 upgrade for the machine version 4, then it will be amazing. Fantasy. What? Wait, what? Fantasy simulation? What the hell kind of game is that? I, I'm not, I don't understand that. Surely a simulation, right? It's supposed to be something that, you know, like, like in real life sort of thing, a simulation of a thing, fantasy simulation? Is that like, is that like flight simulator in Midler? <laughs> Flying a Nazgul around the place, just burning hobbits. <laughs> Sorry, I've gone on, on a little bit of tangent there. Right, I think I'm going to do this one. Any topic, any genre. That's pretty good, because then that means that just leaves it to me. Like, I can do whatever I want on that one. So we got the play system, yes. The machine, version three. Actually, let's start with the topic. What should we go with? We're not gonna do life. Life is very good on the PC, but it isn't very good on the consoles. So I think we're gonna go military. Yes, no, possibly. Okay, so the play system is very much everyone orientated. Everyone loves it younger generation like it maybe a little bit more the mature not so much so we're gonna leave this on an everyone for the time being and I still am thinking what the hell are we gonna do ooh ooh it's surgery no we've done that space space let's go with space why not let's go with a space adventure wait space adventure I thought that was a fantastic mix there we go space action yes yes space action why not and for the everyone so, right, what, what kind of space action games are there out there? Back to my shelf. I'm going to look up there now, see what I've got. Uh, I'm not a very spacey... Halo? Does that count as space action? Yeah, yeah, why not? I know it's supposed to be on the M box, but who gives a shit, right? <laughs> Let's put it on this. Wait a minute. Wait, why can't I... Have I missed something here? Oh, pick genre. My bad, my bad. I went in and I selected out of it, so there we go. We've got a space action on the play system on the machine, version 3. Awesome. 2D graphics v3. Fantastic. I'm just going to reposition myself. So you may hear rolling. Right, engine. We want that to be quite high. Gameplay, stories and quests, once again, could be pretty low. Engine is very important for action games. I'm not sure why I would have said that gameplay to be the most important thing, but I suppose you've got artificial intelligence, guns, bombs, all that jazz. It takes a lot of tech to get that done. Or so they would say. So, right. Uh, what do we want in this? Well, we don't want any cutscenes, but we do want all of the gameplay elements. So go, my pretties. Fly, my pretty. Do the thing that you do best. That was my best witch voice. I could do a cackle. <laughs> but that's terrible. Alright. Hi, this is Andrew McNanna from Game, Ig Game Informant. For a moment there, I thought it said Game Ignorant. I was be like, no, get out. Game Ignorant. No, that's a silly name. Leave. I got a word that the village is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project or an interview about it? Yes, yes I would. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making video games and how companies prioritise de development areas. Your new game is a space action game. Can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on world design or on engine? Definitely on engine. Because we did put a lot of time into engine. Lots. Shit loads. Okay, so they seem to be doing quite well, 19 and 16 respectively. And in a recent game report, yes, yes, yes. Yak, 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 yak. Critique, critique, it's going to be shit. Critique, critique. That, that's, that's how reviewers speak. See, I've never counted myself as a reviewer, so it's okay. <laughs> so it's fine, I'm allowed to like, poke fun. Because I don't count. All right, let's put him in there. And we'll put this guy in there. And level design, we want Brian Shaw, because he's quite good at level design. News. Today, the new platform Mbox by Micronoft has been released. 
See, this is where we should be releasing Halo. But instead, we're putting it on the PlayStation. Whoops. Actually, the PlayStation... Oh, shit, the PlayStation 2's already come out, hasn't it? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This might this might not end well, then. Like, I, I probably really shouldn't have put the game on the PlayStation 1. Or the Play System, as it's called. Um, so, space action. Let's give it an open world, shall we? Why not? Let's put the open... There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Now that I know that we've put this on the Play System 1, I am not holding out much hope that this game is going to do very well. Like, it might be able to beat its minimum of 6, or was it 7? I cannot remember. But I don't think it's going to make us lots of money. It might be able to tip our fans over 80k, though. So that's always something that we can hope for. Because more fans equals more money. And more money equals more power. And more power equals more women. <laughs> yes. So Halo is ready. And did we get an upgrade? We got an upgrade to graphics and level up. To oh no, they're going to cost me a fortune. Three of them have got to level up. That means they're going to want some more money. Yep, due to increase in following. Ugh. 32 to 45, 22 to 32, 19 to 32. You guys are robbing me. You are. You're all bloody just robbing me. <laughs> Especially you, buddy. Oh, oh my god. Ah, oh, I was really hoping that would be a 10 then. It's an 8. An 8 is, isn't something to sniff about. And once again, we're always we're just trying to work towards self-publishing on medium games. That's that's the one that we want to go for. And it is an 8. So hopefully that has passed all requirements. Passing all requirements. Do 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 do. -do. Excellent. Now, generate game report. Yes, and I want you to research something. We've got 80, so we could research multi-genre. We're not going to do that, but better AI, we are definitely going to do that. Now, marketing is something that, as I've said before, is very useful. But early on in the game doesn't really make that much difference. But I am going to get it now, mainly for the reason that I, I have 40 left. So, I might as well. Come on, get to 10. You can do it, man. I believe in you. Publisher, what's that? Deep Platinum. The game meets are acquired. Uh, Deep Platinum. I'm trying to think what that one's a, a rip on. Deep Silver, maybe? Deep Silver is a publisher, isn't it? I think they were the guys that did Saints Row the third and four, actually. And all the other ones. All the games, I think, were Deep Purple. Or I could be wrong. Or Deep Silver, or whatever it's called. Anyway, moving swiftly on from that little tangent. So come on, get to 10, man. I have a plan. The plan is good. We want you to research. Virtual pet. Definitely. Making ourselves your Tamagotchi. Loving the Tamagotchi. Did you ever have a Tamagotchi? They were brilliant. I had a Sonic one. I had to look after Sonic and every day he'd die. I wasn't very good at looking after Sonic. But it was amusing. You know, it's like, Mommy, look, he's dead. And then she'd have to get that pin thing and push it in the back. What's that? Someone's stolen our credit card. Wait, we lost 21,000? What did they buy? Okay, well, I think we need to hunt these people down because that's not on. You don't steal a man's credit card. Especially credit. You know, debit, maybe, but, you know, credit, you're leaving him with a load of interest. Douchebag. Absolute douchebag. All right, let's do another contract work. Um, Halo isn't really doing that well. Although, we are up to 83,000 fans. Once again, as I said, we did tip over 80. So that's good. All right, let's go and find ourselves another... Wait, wait a minute. I think, if I remember correctly, we can indeed... Make version 2, actually, before we... No, time travel. No, sod that. We're going to make our uh, our new custom game engine. We seem to be making, like, one almost every episode at this point. So this is the machine version 4. The machine. Oh, no, the machat. The machat in 8 thin. Okay, you cannot say the word machine with 8 in the middle. It's impossible. It just comes out sounding like you're having a stroke. So, just word there to the wise. Right. The Machine version 4, branching stories, multiplayer, dialogue tree, better AI, and 
and stereo sound. We can actually get rid of mono sound, because having stereo sound and mono sound at the same time is kind of pointless. You know, the only reason you would need, need that is, you know, if you're going to make a mono sound game instead of a stereo sound game because you've got no money. That's the only time you'd ever need that, and I'm hoping not to ever be in that situation. Fingers crossed, of course. Like, we've only got 3.9 million at the moment, but now that we're making our brand new engine, we should, potentially, with our next game, make even more money. But, you know, because the game is going to be better, it's going to have branching stories, it's going to be a hit, and I think the next one is probably going to be an RPG. Because that's kind of my standard, isn't it? It's like, usually when I get a new engine, I end up going back and doing all the sequels for all the old games that I've made. So your new game engine, the machine version 4, is now complete. Yay! The machine! Right, guys, I'm actually going to end that one there. So thank you for joining me in this episode of Game Dev Tycoon Like a Boss. We're on year 14 at the moment, so what? We're just under halfway through this series, and I believe this was episode 7. So this series is probably going to run up to maybe like, I don't know, 20 episodes, possibly? Something like that. I, the reason why I'm telling you is just so you guys have a know, you know, are in the know about what's coming up in the future, if you get what I mean, because it's good to be in the loop. Like, I'm out the loop a lot of the time, and it's my bloody channel. <laughs> right. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.